We're here with Dr. Meli Caballero Anthony of RSIS in Singapore, who joins us as part of our roundtable discussion on security challenges in uh, Asia, in East Asia. Um, Dr. Caballero Anthony has also served as Director of External Relations at uh, the ASEAN Secretariat. And with that in mind, I wanted to start our conversation by asking you how do you see the role of ASEAN in addressing some of the core security challenges that the region faces at the moment? Well, ASEAN has many roles uh, for, um, for its member states. It's really a platform where you could enhance uh, bilateral and multilateral cooperation to, you know, to help member states with many of the challenges that they face. This could be uh, very hardcore security challenges like territorial disputes, for example, uh, those that affect uh, the developmental challenges as well, which could have security implications. On the wider um, ASEAN uh, or East Asia environment, ASEAN provides a very important platform for uh, confidence building measure um, and all sorts of uh, cooperate, cooperative ventures that addresses not just the security, but really uh, other challenges that would affect states and societies in the region. Japan, of course, has had a long history of engagement with Southeast Asia in the post-war period. How critical do you think the Japanese role is in advancing those developmental needs? Japan has a, been a very important partner of ASEAN. Um, if you look at in the mid-80s and 90s, when Japan decided to uh, invest overseas, Southeast Asia was a major recipient of that uh, investment uh, strategy of Japan. It continues to, uh, uh, with that, a development cooperation in many areas. In fact, that is something that is less appreciated at the moment because of the charm offensive that China has mm -hmm. with regard to the region. Uh, it's been described as one of the, Japan has been described as one of the more reliable partners in, um, in ASEAN and uh, in spite of the fact I recall in 20, uh, 2011 when they had the triple disaster um, Japan continued with its developmental assistance uh, to ASEAN countries particularly the, the you know the so-called the CLMV uh, the less developed countries in ASEAN uh, at the moment, uh, with the ASEAN Economic Community blue, uh, you know, project or blueprint that is supposed to be coming to fruition in 2015, Japan has been there, uh, has been sort of uh, helped in the process by, by supporting one of a very critical program, project in that AEC, which is the connectivity program in ASEAN. Um, and of course, again, also helping develop capacity in um, helping member countries um, bring them up to speed with some of the requirements for yeah, for a more um, uh, a more uh, to, to facilitate trade and investments in the region. The phrase proactivism has been very much linked to the Abe administration's attempt to enhance its security flexibility, particularly with the uh, new interpretation of the concept of collective self-defense. Mm -hmm. um, in Northeast Asia, it's generated a lot of. Um, controversy, not least from China and also to some extent from South Korea. And yet in Southeast Asia, the mood seems to have been more positive and more responsive. Um, why is that, do you think? Well, Japan's um, offer to, um, uh, to actually assist some of the member states, uh, the Philippines, uh, even Indonesia, Malaysia, and even Vietnam, in enhancing its capacity to, to patrol its, its waters, more on, uh, you know, participation in enhancing its uh, coastal patrol capability, if you like, has, has been welcome because maritime security is, is, a, major, uh, is a major issue for, for Southeast Asian countries, not just in terms of, you know, freedom of navigation, but more importantly, uh, keeping the, the sea lanes of communication free from, um, they call it, um, acts of uh, uh, criminal acts at sea, like piracy, for example. And the fact that there was already a, a frame of, of cooperation prior to Japan's um, more proactive offer to the region, and this is really the regional cooperation on, on, on fighting piracy, like RECAP, which was also initiated by Japan in cooperation with ASEAN countries and other, uh, other countries in Asia Pacific. So it makes for a more logical step in, 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 uh, in, in putting that cooperation uh, at, a much, at a higher plane, so to speak. 
so uh, and in that regard, um, you know, th that part of it is is, is welcome, mm. uh, and it it is less controversial than perhaps anything else like rearming or increasing military budgets, etc. That mm. the U.S. is, for example, helping its its own allies. Mm. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you.